Hello, 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 hello. Today, I'm going to give you a quick what we call film studies. So welcome to Tell the Truth podcast. I'm your host, Shai Ty Neal, my host right here, Bowtie Bill over here. We're going to give you all a quick little five, ten minute study today, man. We're giving you all something different. It's called Football Film Study, one of the key plays in the Super Bowl. and put my specs on, Bowtie Bill. Absolutely, man. Take your time. I get paid by the hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to let the people know, our family members and Everyone else, hit the subscribe button, the like button. Send it to your family members and your friends, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your brother-in-law, sister-in-law, the ones you like as well as the ones you don't like. <laughs> right? You know, we just thank you for everything you're doing for us, family. Uh, we appreciate your viewership and your listenership as well. Let's get to it. All right, cool, cool. So this today is probably, this is what I like to say, is the key of the game. Me and Bowtie Bill on the last podcast, we got into a heated debate on this. So now what I'm talking up to is like, Spagnola just, just which me and Bill agree for the Super Bowl, is just a beast. So you see right here, man, you see the down and distance. It's third and four, okay? And this is the overtime play. So K. San Fran, I got the ball first. You got something? Go ahead, Bill. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought you might have something. people know that it's overtime. Yeah, yeah, so it's overtime. Yeah, you got it. You can see right down the bottom, it's 19-19, overtime, 7 minutes, 30 seconds left. Everything you need to know about the game situation, bam, it's right there. All right? So, right off the bat, what I'm noticing is McCaffrey's going in motion. If you see number 27 for KC, he's going to go in motion with him. All right? Now, they got now you see Jones is circled. Now why is that key? Because that means McCaffrey's in man to man. They are man to man. Jones is lined up between the tackle and the guard. That's gonna cause some doubts. Billy, break down why that is so important that he's not lined up directly over the ta- uh, the uh the uh defense the guard that he's lined up between the guard and the tackle. Explain to people why that is so important and that kind of that throws a whole play out. Break that down in the, for in the previous in the previous uh podcast I said that you know he's in the eye technique. Mm-hmm. And the eye technique means one three five seven nine even is uh zero two four mm-hmm. six eight. Right. Okay. So the, one of the reasons why he lined up over there the one of the reasons why ninety five is lined up between the gaps is because you have that standing up linebacker over the center. Mm-hmm. So now it confuses their blocking scheme. Brock Purdy is in his second, first year, all year starting. <laughs> yep. One, one. Now, now here's a problem with this. All right. From Kyle Shanahan's perspective, mm-hmm. it's third and four. Yep. Super Bowl. Yep. Overtime. Red zone. Mm-hmm. Why are you in the empty backfield? Woo! And this is why so I said. So now this is play call. <laughs> it's play call. I told you. Right. I think okay. Shannon had the horrible overtime. Right. But go ahead. You got it. <laughs> I told you. I felt the right. body. But go ahead. Okay. So now now you have a man in motion. Well, right, right. All of this is static, viewers and listeners. Mm-hmm. All of this is static. Why are you in a... Uh, empty backfield in mm-hmm. the red zone, overtime, Super Bowl, with your first year starter. Kyle let, Shanahan. Let me interject real quick. Okay. The reason ahead. why that's so important because now the defense does not have to defend the run. You let you gonna do a quarterback sneak and the odds of that doing that. So now the defense can just pin their hairs back and just go bust you in the Agreed. mouth. Agree. But go ahead, Billy. Agree. Bad so coaching. Now, Bad coaching. Now you're one dimensional. Mm-hmm. Now you're one dimensional. So anybody worth their way to go already know, okay, bring the house. Third and four. <laughs> they got the ball first. Going back, going back to mm-hmm. the to the touring cost in overtime. Mm-hmm. We're gonna hold them to a field goal. Yep. Yep. Okay, so they have a one deep safety. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now they are in man press. It's called a man press. Right. Mm-hmm. And they have somebody over the center who's standing up. And, and, and that's keep, basically keep, it. And so how we know all of this is called pre-snap, pre-snap read. And how we know is how we know that it's man to man because when uh, we're gonna let y'all see when McCaffrey goes in motion, twenty-seven. And you see twenty-seven right now. He is bumping into Debo right now. He's at twenty-seven now. It's at the four-yard line. And look, McCaffrey would, is gonna be open way in the flat. So. Right off the bat, 
Purdy do need to notice that's man to man. Now people are like, his Hi. back is to his back is to Purdy. Right. So I, people are like so he can't see Purdy. I mean he can't see McCaffrey. What, right. But so hold on, Billy. I let you get yours off. Let me let me let me let me do this Go on ahead. my time now. Go ahead. His back is to it, but that's not a good point. Even though you said it, Billy, I still totally disagree with you. The problem is that I do agree with you on is by him being so young in the game. He don't have to cash in like you said. When he saw that, when he when he saw him going in motion and twenty seven fighting to get over, he should be thinking, "Oh, he's not gonna catch up with him. Look, he's not gonna catch up with him. Let me get rid of the ball. Boom, hit him out in the flat. It's touchdown." But coach told me he probably probably told him you know read on his side so he don't got to catch in. So I agree with you on that part. But twenty. His back is to him now because he never thought about throwing the ball to him. Now, what I want to get to is how in the hell did this boy get butt naked, 95, Run about to back. hit this boy in the – no, John, about okay. to hit him in the mouth. And I'm going to go back to pre-snap. The reason why this dude is so about to bust him in his mouth because that dog on Spagnola is a beast. Yes, he is. What he did was the key is he didn't line him over the, tack, over the, uh, uh, over the guard. He lined him up over the tackle. Now, keep in mind, outside that tackle, there's another man that's down. That's a linebacker right there next to the guy that's circle. that's Jones. The guy next to him to the left, that's another lineman. So what happens is uh, the kiddo is just going to bump the guy on the outside, and then the guy going to slide to his right and take the linebacker. The, 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 the guard is thinking, I don't got to block Jones. I'm going to block down because why? He's going to send people up the, up the middle. You're going to see what I'm talking about right here. I'm going to let it go. All right. You see that? 20 somethings coming right up the middle. So now the whole team then slid to the left. The line is slid to the left. What does that mean? That means you got two guys on the right side trying to block 20, 95, and this down lineman. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. That's, that's just this bag just dialing it up. Right, 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 right. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay, so there's a delay blitz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's coming right to the guard. Yep. Yep. That line about coming right to the guard. Mm-hmm. That, and the tight uh, – uh, the tackle, the right tackle supposed to get that – Edge rusher mm-hmm. because Kittle gonna chip and release, mm-hmm. and but but because that linebacker is on a delayed blitz, yep, and he see him coming, no one touches ninety five, nobody. And his watch, well, watch the guard hit the linebacker that's coming. Uh huh. And he's at the he, right now. He's at the six yard line. Right. You want me to go? You want me to let go it go? Ahead. All right, let it go. All right, cool. Right there. Mm hmm. So, so if you look at it, KC is playing. Uh, they're playing a true zero blitz. Yes, they are. That, that's that's what we call zero blitz. When there's no safety in playing single high, no double. There's no uh, cover two. If you notice, twenty seven is fighting through traffic, trying to get to the flat because that's where McCaffrey's going. Mm-hmm. Twenty one is coming down because he sees Kittle chipping. That's called a chip. So Kittle is chipping the, the linebacker, and then Kittle's going to release. Well, guess what? There's a safety waiting on him. This is straight cover cover zero, man-to-man blitz. I'm about to bust this young boy in the mouth type defense. Now, let me let him let. And, and, and so, therefore, the wide receiver, he's he's his first read. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. he's not looking at anybody else. That is why uh, the defender that's at the three-yard line. Mm-hmm. Outside between the number and the left hash mark, right, is fading because he's looking at his eyes. So that's the first read. Mm-hmm. So now, number uh, the 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 cornerback has outside leverage. Which cornerback you talking about now? On, Thirty-one uh, or the uh, one at the bottom? I'm talking about bottom, Jennings. At the bottom. So you got to let the people know which one you're talking about. At the so bottom. I have Thirty-one Jennings. Got you. He got yeah, outside he has, leverage. He has, he has outside leverage. Now, okay. He he on the bump, but just in case if IU fifteen. For San Francisco to go in, mm-hmm. that de- defender. That's Jennings. Got 15 is Jennings. That's Jennings. But go ahead. I'm, I'm Jennings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I want. I don't. 
Yeah, I use eleven. Okay, I want so people 15, at home to get okay, confused. My yeah. bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go with film study. Okay. Number fifteen. Right. Just say fifteen. Yeah, right. yeah just, just say fifteen. Number. Right. You know, uh, it's covered. He's double covered. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. the quarterback has already committed to throwing that way. Right. So the key is it's funny that tricked you. It's funny you said he's double covered because truth be told, he's not double covered. See, he's but but it is that Kittle stayed if I let the play go. Kittle stayed in the chip, Billy, but he's releasing. That safety's coming down to guard Kittle, but because Kittle took so long to get out there, it wound up being a double coverage. So that that blew up on him. And now when you look at you look by now, he can't do anything. The man is wide open, but if you if he's you he's going with his first read, right? He's going with his first read. But I'm gonna tell you something. I know y'all get tired of us talking about Mahomes. I'm gonna tell you something. That's touchdown. That's touchdown. That's Mahomes. You, you see? Do you see wide he's open? Cerebral. You see? Do you see who wide open? Absolutely. Who open? Did you see it? In the middle. Kittle. Mm-hmm. He, Mahomes would not have missed that. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, back it up for you. He, no, Mahomes would have checked down quick. That'd be like a little slip screen up, up to um, Kelsey. Watch it. Kittle's gonna block, and then Kittle's gonna come on loose. I know the pressure in his face. Mahomes would hit that. I try to pause. I try to stop it. Mahomes would hit that, bro. I really believe that. Mahomes, I believe, would have actually, I think Mahomes would have hit that. Right there, bam. Right, right there. Mahomes would hit that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mahomes would hit that. So Worst case scenario, first down. First down. Worst case. But you can't get mad at Purdy. He's only been in about maybe maybe 18 games. Well, I can say that I, I'm going to put a little bit of blame on Purdy on one thing. What's he, that? The pre-snap. He should have been right there. He should have been thinking about right there uh, going to McCaffrey. Number two, M- M- I, and I do not know this. I do not know what I'm about to say. Down. Right. I do not know what this next thing I'm about to say. But mo- I'm going to assume that it's probably the center because Purdy is so young. I don't know who's over the protection calling for the team, but whoever told them to slide left, Billy, fucked the whole team out. The protection should have been going slide right, but they did not know that because the safety came late. And the way my man was lined up, Jones, he was lined up between the guard and the tackle, and then the linebacker, he was guard. That's He basically what we call wide nine, but we don't want to get too deep in the, in the film study. But, I mean, you know what wide nine is. So, and there was a delayed blitz right. coming right over that guard. Right, but it, it, he, I can see a confusion, but – as a tackle, you got to take the widest guy. That's fifty six. The t- right tackle thinking the the right guard knows to take Jones, but he didn't. He blocked down, trying to help the blitzing safety. Linebacker. Yeah, safety. I don't say the linebacker. They got them weird numbers, right? We don't know right, what right, they right, are. Right. <laughs> right. But it was delayed blitz, and that's why I said, "Dog, that mad genius." This is all, all. Play again, Sam. This is all Spagnola, dog. This is just a good dial-up, bro. That's all Spags, dog. That that's that's how the Super Bowls won, right? Third there. and fourth. That's how the Super Bowls won, right there on this play, Billy. Right there. McCaffrey wasn't even. You know what? He probably was the fourth read. Uh, right. I, no, you're right. You're right. We're, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna want the film study to go low. You are right. McCaffrey was the fourth read. But you, I don't know if you know. I don't know if you're catching my point. No, no, you, no, no. I got your point. Yeah, yeah. So should have went to Kittles. No, he should have went to McCaffrey. No, that's not my point. Here's my point. You are right about one thing. He doesn't have the cachet. He doesn't have the experience. But uh, when he's going, but not audible. Uh, maybe he doesn't notice it. But if McCaffrey is going in motion, and I see that safety is literally four yards behind him. So McCaffrey's here, he's here, and he's flying. I'm thinking, I'm going to hit McCaffrey on this flat real quick. I'm going to hit McCaffrey on this flat real quick. Now, what I don't know is, you know, I'm going to take a quick look before we get up out of here, playing devil's advocate to myself. It, it, I couldn't tell if McCaffrey maybe did not go out because he man, stayed in the he block. Just it, he just pushed his head. I, think, I just think he was giving the guy a chip before he got out there. But I think McCaffrey was going to that flat. And if you were quarterback knowing that he's going to the flat – that should have been his first read. But I'm going to say this, talking about having cachet and not having cachet. Miss Irrelevant. Yeah, McCaffrey's going out. Motherfucker, go ahead. 
<laughs> Go ahead. So sorry. Miss Irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Last pick of the draft. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to upset that apple cart. Play coming in, I'm going to run that play. <laughs> we say, you ain't getting cut from the team. <laughs> okay. Okay, both time, I guess I, I lost this debate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a key. You know what I mean? <laughs> we say, hey, man, I, I ain't even making it. I don't even know. Well, is he even making you know millions? Like he nine, say, no, no, he's he, not. He's he making $900,000 he, he, a year. Yeah, he's not even a millionaire. I, you I, know? I'm going to call whoever the fuck the coach tell me to call. You, you with me? <laughs> Walk with me now. Walk with me. <laughs> both time, Bill, that I agree with you on. Also, man, Spagnola, man. <laughs> Spagnola, man, that was just, man, let y'all see it before we get out of here, man. Absolutely. That was just a hell of Phenomenal. a Phenomenal. Phenomenal, man. We man. need to do more of this, bro. Yeah, I figured you'd like this, man. Yeah, Still man, we study. need to do more of this. <laughs> anyway, man, we about to get up out of here, man. We just wanted to give y'all a tell the truth film study of what we feel like was probably one of the most important plays in the Super Bowl. Yes. How he dialed it up. We about to get up out of here. Bowtie Bill, tell the people what we need, baby. Subscribe, like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, send it to your family members and friends, to your aunts, your uncles, your brother-in-laws, all your in-laws, all your distant cousins as well, you know, <laughs> mom and them, you know, aunt, yeah. all your aunts, yep. and then the people that you like as well as the ones you don't like, we're just looking to just share everything that we have with you, and we appreciate your your uh, viewership and your listenership, and we appreciate everything. Thank you, fam. Yeah. We appreciate it. It's been growing, man. It's been growing, man. Make sure you leave your comments, man. You tell me what you think, man. Who who fault was that, man? Should I putting too much on Purdy? Uh, you know, we don't know if it was the center supposed to call the run protection. I mean, the, the protection on the offensive line, or is it Purdy? If you're a 49er fan, you know this. Hit us in the inbox. Let us know who usually calls y'all uh, slide protection, right. man. You know Let, what? We want to hear from the from, from the fans and stuff, man. So y'all leave your comments. Film study. I, we want to see what other gurus think about that play. You know. Who fault was it? You hate to say it like that, but, you know, they sent six. I just feel like they should have slid him to the right and hit McCaffrey in, in, in the flat. That's just what I think. But, man. Right. Well, as well as. Go ahead, Bowtie. We appreciate in the event that you disagree. Oh, yeah. yeah because yeah, that yeah, what yeah. having a spirited debate yeah. is what makes podcasts great. Yes, yes, yes. Having a spirited debate is what makes podcasts great. Yep, yep. But uh, on that note, Bowtie <laughs> Bill. Man, hit him with the family real quick, man. Tell him what family means, man. Tell him what family means. Forget about me. I love you. Man, my brother. On that note, thanks for watching Tell the Truth, the film study edition, man. Tell the Truth podcast. Phenomenal. Three, man. Guys, we out of here.